My name is Mike Norton and I'm a heart transplant recipient. In my late teens, I was diagnosed with IHSS. My heart got weaker and weaker. For about 35 years, I've been a landscape photographer. I've been to a lot of national parks and a lot of national forests, but over the years, I got to where I couldn't go up the trails. In July of 2016, my cardiologist, Dr. George, said, you told me that I needed to be on the heart transplant list. So I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks while they did tests, and on uh, November the 5th, one of the nurses stuck her head in and said, they're gonna call you. About that time, the phone rang, and they, it was one of the coordinators said they had a heart for me. What I noticed about St. Luke's was all the people there were confident, and they're committed to helping people. They're committed to listening to the patients. My donor was 15 years old. He was on the football team, the baseball team, the track team. He took advanced classes and was in the Boy Scouts. When I found that out, I thought, well, I've got an obligation. I've got to get out and do these things that I want to do. And for him, for his family, and for all the people at St. Luke's that put in all the hard work to get me where I am. And I started walking two days after the transplant. They got me out of bed to walk. And when I got home, I started walking. I got up to two miles, three miles fairly quickly. I've been working out, hiking, uh, riding the bicycle to get in shape for this hike up half dog. It's 16 miles round trip and it goes up 4,800 feet. Just attempting something like that before the transplant would have been as much a fantasy to me as living on the moon. Appreciate every day that I have now because it's a gift. It was a gift from my donor family, it's a gift from the people of St. Luke's, and it's a gift from everybody who prayed for me.